example one, we are to use the tables of logarithms to evaluate the following. A is 13.95 times 364 divided by 4.32. B, we have square root of 6147 times 29.3 squared or divide by 437. A. What we have to do is to first and foremost convert each of these from indices to logarithm. So we are going to have a column. This is going to be numbers and logarithm. So this is said to be 13.95. And how do we convert 13.95 to logarithm? Remember also, you were told that to get the characteristics of that number, you have to express it in standard form. And if you express this in standard form, it's going to give you 1.395 times 10 to the power of 1, meaning the characteristics is 1. The characteristics is always 1 less than the number of digits. So since this is two uh, digits, that is 1 and 3, we have our characteristics now is going to be 1. So this is 1 point. You then look for 13 under 9. So when you go to your logarithm table, 13 under 9, this is 13. 13 under 9 is giving me 1430. So this is going to be 1430. I will then look for difference 5. Still go back to the logarithm table and check for difference 5, still under 13. Difference 5 is 16. So I'm going to add 16 to it. And this is said to be 6441. So my answer is 1.1446. So this is how to convert from numbers to logarithm. I'll also do the same with 364. What you have to do in this case is to convert every number to logarithm. And thereafter, you can do the multiplication and division. Next is 364. Converting 364 to logarithm, express it in standard form, is going to be 3.64 times 10 to the power of 2. So my characteristics is going to be 2. Point. Now that this is not up to 4 digits, I'm going to look for 36 under 4, difference 0. So once it's 3 digits, you look for all that becomes 0. So 36 under 4, go back to the logarithm table. 36 is somewhere here. 36 under 4 is... 5611. So this is said to be 5611. So that is 2.5611. Difference 0. There's no difference 0. So difference 0 is always 0. Okay. So now that I have done the numerator, that is, I have converted 13.95 and 364 to logarithm, what you have to do is to thereafter multiply the numerator because we have to multiply 13.95 times 364 and in log reading multiplication in indices is equivalent to addition in log reading so while the question is saying 13.95 times 364 this is the numerator in log reading, I said we are going to add. So I'm going to add 6 plus 1 is 7. This is 5. This is 10. You write down 0 and carry 1. This is 7. Point. This is 3. So 13.95 times 364 in number is equivalent to 3.7057 in logarithm. I will then go to the base, but before then, I'll have to move this to the next column. So this is 3.7057. To the numerator, we have 4.32. So 4.32 in number, is going to give us zero point 
I would then look for 43 under 2. Why am I having 0? Because expressing 4.32 in standard form is said to be 4.32 times 10 raised to the power of 0. So the characteristics is 0. The matrices is going to be read from the log reading table when we look at 43 under 2. So going to 43 under 2, we have 43 under 2 is somewhere here. This is 43 under 2 is 63.55. Now that we have gotten the value for log 4.32, we then shift it to the third column, which is 0 0.6355. The next step is to then do the division. So we then have 13.95 times 364 divided by 4.32 on that number is said to be the subtraction of this. So division in number is equivalent to subtraction in log. This will now be 7 minus 5 is 2, 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 minus 3 cannot, you borrow 1 from here, this becomes 6, and this is 10, 10 minus 3 is 7, 6 minus 6 is 0, 0.3. So this is equivalent to 13, 13. 95 times 364 divided by 4.32 in number is equivalent to 3.0702 in log. We then use the anti-log to get the value of this. So we would now look at anti-log of 3.0702. Will be equal to this remember is said to be the characteristics while this is gotten from the mantissa so we are going to use the anti-log to determine the mantissa or the value of a in standard form and three will then be the power of 10. so we are going to have our answer to be like four digits times 10 raised to the power of three so we are, we are converting it back from logarithms to indices. So I have gotten my power to be 3. I'm going to look at, if I'm going to use the anti-log table, I will then look at 0 0.07 under 0 difference 2. Otherwise, you can still use the log reading table and look for the values that will give you 0, 7, 0, 2. So for us to get the value of A in standard form, we are going to look for, using the anti-log table, we are going to look for 0 0.07 under 0 difference 2. So going to the anti-log table, which is this, this is the anti-log of numbers, I'm going to look for 0 0.07, which is this. This is 0 0.07 under 0, it gives me 1175. 1175 difference 2 of that is said to be 1. So when you add 1 to 1175, it will give you 1176. So our answer is said to be 1.1750. 1 now, expressing this in number, this is going to be equal to 1176. Now, so this is our answer. If you use your calculator to do this in numbers, you are going to arrive at this. But this is the way to do it using logarithm table. Kindly like our videos as you watch. While well, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. You can also share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from this project. You can follow me on Facebook at My Lesson Teacher Math, on TikTok at My Lesson Teacher, and on Instagram.
with the same handle. Let's take more example. 